Year 7. So today um, we are going to be having a look at the Day of the Dead. So last lesson we looked at Lena Hoschek, a fashion designer whose um, spring summer collection of 2013 was inspired by the Day of the Dead. Um, the Day of the Dead is a two day holiday that reunites the living and the dead. Um, if families create offerings to honour to their departed family members that have passed. Um, altars are decorated with bright yellow marigold flowers and photos of their loved ones and they offer for their favourite foods and drinks to the ones being honoured. Um, as part of the Day of the Dead celebration, sugar skulls are created, so you can see these here. Uh, these are a, a sugar skull suite um, and these are put on the, the offerings for their loved ones. Um, we also see that in the festivals here, the celebrations, they dress up and they paint their faces to look like sugar skulls. So if you look at this one, you can see here we've got face painted people um, who would be going to the celebrations wearing the bright coloured flowers in their hair and taking ideas from these sugar skulls here. So we're going to be looking today at these kind of designs and how we can create our own sugar skull design. Um, I've got on the PowerPoint a template for you. If you're able to print that, by all means, um, work straight onto the template. That's what I'm going to do today. If you can't print it, then just um, draw it freehand and copy it from the image so that you can get a starting point for your sugar skull. So I am going to just look at these for reference points. These are not to copy, but just to give you a reference. So if you're looking at these, you can see that um, uh, a trademark in most of these is this pattern around the eyes. So I'm going to be putting that pattern in around the eyes as a starting point. Um, so they light the petals of one of the flowers. Put that in around both eyes. So immediately by doing that, you're giving it that impression of the sugar skull image. So these are meant to be quite bright and fun. Um, they uh, quite often have um, the flower features on them, but also lots of curled lines. You quite often see hearts within them. Um, you quite often see an exaggeration of the, the teeth in the designs as well. Um, I'm going to put in some more of these curled lines and I'm going to carry that on. I'm actually I'm going to put another flower image coming around on the chin here and I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to repeat that petal design that I've got from around the eyes there. And I've got a few of those coming in from the edge of the skull. So you can make this as intricate as you like. You can keep reference back to these ideas, but also looking at the ones on here and on here to give yourself some more ideas as well. If you've got some um, sparkles or stickers at home, you feel free to add them to this as well, make it a like you can see on this one, where we've got the actual diamante stuck onto the face, you could add those into your design as well if you wanted to. So make it really quite fun and bright and colourful. To put some dots here. Okay, so I'm going to move on to colour now. So you want bright, you can use felt tip pens or colour pencils for this, whatever you choose. I'm going to go really bright with mine, starting off with reds. Um, I'm going to leave the background of mine the white of the paper, but you could by all means go in with colour in that background space as well. You're going to keep working on this and developing it. It's quite nice if you use the same colour for quite a few sections. That ties the design together, makes it look less disjointed. I'm going go with the pink now. Pink's running out. Let's see what else we've got. Let's try this one. 
Okay. You could use thin felt tip pens and thick felt tip pens so you can build up um, a different range of marks with them as well if you wanted to. Right, so I'm going to go really contrasting now in with the green. Contrast with that pink and the red. But you can see how I'm repeating that same colour and shape just to tie the whole thing together. Um, so I'm going to go with a lighter green now. Putting those dots. Well, it looks about the same, doesn't it? It doesn't look much different. Let's try a darker green, see if this one makes a difference. There we go. Um, I'm just going to use that to outline my nose as well. And then I'm going to go in now with a blue. And I'm just going to add in some extra lines now. Where I think it needs a bit more detail. Part in there. And you can keep going with this and add as many lines, make it as intricate as you like. It should be really over the top, really colourful and really fun. Okay, that's my finished design. So Sugar Skull design. Um, taking inspiration from the Day of the Dead celebrations. <laughs>